my lovely Libras and welcome back to your general energy reading for the weekend and next week. Uh, if you do enjoy this, please do like, subscribe, share all that great stuff. I would appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, check out the other sign in your chart if this doesn't resonate with you. Um, otherwise, take what does resonate and toss the rest because it is just a general reading. So we will take the um, cards as they come, not in reversals for this reading. Uh, we also do use another tarot deck for your challenge card and three oracle decks to go ahead and kind of get a full scope. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we've got going for our fantastic Libras. Oh, right. These look like some big cards. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Emperor card. And for me, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like right now you are feeling like a boss, okay? So you have either come out of a really bad week where, you know, things were rough and now uh, you've completed that week successfully though, okay? So it was a really hard week, but you've successfully completed it. So you feel like you are like walking out, like mic drop, like a boss, okay? Or you've just had a really smooth sailing week. Everything has been kind of culminating up to this point where you feel like you really can just sit back, feel like a steady, confident, um, you know, strong, independent person. Um, but either way, however you got here, I do feel like this is your energy that you are giving off this emperor energy. Okay. I don't feel like this is, um, you know, an energy that's coming in. I feel like this is, is your energy. Uh, right now. So for me, this is something where I feel like, you know, gender is neutral in here. So it doesn't really matter if we're female, but I do feel like you are feeling like after this week, um, you feel going forward into this weekend and into next week, like you are on good, steady, firm, strong, proud ground. Like maybe you are happy with your accomplishments, feeling like you're in control a little bit more maybe than you have in some time. So kudos to you on that. Um, the next card is the Knight of Swords, okay? So I do feel like some news or some opportunities are coming in very quickly for you, okay? And this could be because you have completed something or you did something very well, um, you know, either at work uh, or on, you know, maybe on some extracurricular type things that you were working on, projects or foundations or fundraisers or whatever. Um, but whatever you've done that has made you feel very emperor-like and very proud and, and as well you should be. I do feel like it has kind of ignited some people to notice. Uh, and so some news is coming in in regards to opportunities um, and it's coming in rather quickly. So if it's not already coming to you, it will be very soon. Um, and this could be relationship opportunities. This could be financial opportunities, job opportunities, anything like that. Um, you know, somebody may have just taken, you know, careful note throughout the time that you were working on things. Maybe you were working, again, this could be at a job. This could be you were working on some extracurricular things through, you know, helping with your kids or your, um, your church or, you know, some charities or, you know, if you, any of that type of stuff. Okay. Whatever it is that you've been working on and you've really kind of culminated into this feeling of strength. Uh, I do feel like somebody has definitely noticed you, okay? So this may be for certain a um, an opportunity or news from that person that they are interested in you as well. So again, this could be relationship related, it could be um, opportunity related, but whatever it is, it is certainly going to end in a very positive situation for you because your last card is a 10 of cups, okay? So this is kind of like a 10 is an ending card, um, so like to fruition, but it's also, uh, the 10 of cups, meaning that it's like happiness, joy, success of relationships, family, um, wholeness on all that regard. So, um, depending on what your family needs or your situation. Okay. So if you're a single and you are really, really hoping for that, you know, significant other, all of that kind of thing, this news could be in reference to that. This could be somebody that you were working with or dealing with throughout this um, time. And now you are really on your boss. Um, you know, you're really on your boss level, right? You're putting out that 
boss level energy and somebody's definitely taking notice and they're going to come in and they're going to say, Hey, I want to, you know, sweep you off your feet kind of situation. And that is going to bring you this kind of feeling. Okay. Now, if you're in a solid, um, you know, founded relationship, you're already in a family, you're married with kids, whole nine yards kind of situation, then this could be an opportunity for your family to grow. Let's say, you know, your family's really been wanting to take a super family vacation. Your family's really been wanting to buy a new house, add on, get a pool, whatever it is that your family together as a unit would bring them much joy um, that you would be, you know, really enjoy togetherness with. Um, you know, you're on your boss level and news might be coming in that, hey, now you've got the funds to do that. Okay, so maybe it's a new opportunity in business, maybe because of such good work, you've got a bonus, uh, maybe it's a raise, something like that's coming in quickly to let you know that. But for whatever your position is, whatever you look at as being your culmination of complete and utter family, uh, personal, happy, joy, relationship-wise, for you, I do believe you are going to get that. Okay, I think that news is coming in and I do think it's coming in quickly. And again, I do think it's all starting with the fact that right now you have done um, an immense amount of work. You may have been working on things for months that have finally kind of come to um, a close or are, are getting very close to coming to a close and you are just really feeling like you are on that boss level right now. So, um, and people take notice, you know, when you are putting that out there, um, people can see that. They can sense that vibe too, that you're putting out a frequency vibe uh, that's boss level vibes, you know? Um, and they're gonna react in that way too. Uh, so let's see what your challenge card is though in this because it all looks pretty darn good right now <laughs> for you. Um, but let's see if you have any any uh, challenge here that's anything major. So we have Page of Pentacles. Um, so this could just be something where, you know, you're having a couple offers come in. Um, you know, that you're not, not that interested in. Um, I do feel like, again, you're putting out that boss level energy. I do feel like you might have multiple opportunities coming in with this Knight of Swords. That might be, um, for many of you, that might be a lot of opportunities coming in. And it could be opportunities that are coming in in uh, relationships, as I mentioned, or it could be, uh, you know, work type opportunities, or it could be both. It could be a variety of both. Um, and your challenge may be that you have a um, page of Pentacles energy here that there's some opportunities that you're just not interested in. They aren't, um, they're kind of trying to block this Knight of Swords opportunity perhaps. Um, they're not as, not as quality, you know, maybe there's some job opportunities, you know, that are coming in for you, but they're just not as good. You're contemplating them. You don't like to turn them down, um, you know, but... Um, or they may even come in first and you accept them, but then you want to back out of them because this other one's coming in, you know, something like that. Um, just, you know, I just, but I feel like it's, this is a, you know, a financial opportunity. Um, or this could be somebody that you work with that has interest in you. They've seen you do a lot. They've seen you do boss level things and now they're interested in you. And when they see this Knight of Swords energy person come in, flying in to you, um, they're going to try to get in your way. Okay. They're going to be like, no, no, I want to, you know, pursue this person. And this is a person that you've had close workings with. And that's the pinnacle situation here. Is it somebody you've worked with, um, you know, throughout projects or at your actual work or maybe other, um, extracurricular type work things, you know, um, if you coach charity, school things, church things, what have you. Um, so this may be somebody who is in direct competition almost with your Knight of Swords uh, opportunity or offer or information coming in. So um, I do think you might want to keep your eye open for this person because I don't think they are as good for you as the Knight of Swords information or energy coming in if they are a competing type of um, opportunity, whether it be relationship or job, as I mentioned. Um, but they may also try to cause some trouble, uh, you know, try to kind of get in the way, try to kind of throw off the Knight of Swords from getting to you. And it could, you know, it could throw, throw a niche in your uh, plans there, or, you know, it could keep you from being able to get to this with your Knight of Swords. Um, you know, if this is a, you know, you accept a job that's not going to get you 
the funds that you really wanted from this great opportunity and you say, okay, I can't turn it down now, I've already taken it. You know what, you may need to just turn it down and you do what's best for you. And that may be hard for some of you. You know, if this is a relationship and you know, this person may try to say, hey, you know, I'm already kind of seeing this, but you know, you never know what they might be trying to pull to keep this person from pursuing you. And the Knight of Swords is really your happy ending here relationship wise. So just keep your eye out. I would say for this page of pentacles, maybe somebody you've worked with that's probably um, not on the level um, or if it's an offer that, you know, you might not want to accept because you, you are an emperor, you're on a boss level, right? So you might have multiple offers. Just remember, you might have multiple offers coming in, whether it be work or whether it be relationship. So do not jump at either immediately, okay? No matter what offer comes in, take your time, okay? Buy time if you need to until you know exactly which one is best for you. And that's going to help you to not get stuck into anything that's going to cause problems, right? So let's get some clarification here if we can on your Emperor card. Uh, this is the Psychic deck. Um, but I do think, I do think again, that that's going to be your best bet is to just try to make sure that, you know, you take your time in choosing anything that you do. Um, because remember, it is something that you don't want to get stuck in and have to try to backtrack out. It's easier to, you know, take your time picking and then not have to worry about digging your way out of it. Okay. Financial and material changes. Again, this is coming in with your boss level energy, your emperor here. So again, I, you know, I, like I said, I absolutely see that you have done big things. You've worked really, really hard, and I do feel like this is you. I feel like this is you're coming into your own. You're coming into a place where your hard work is paying off. You are now exuding that level of um, uh, emperor-type energy, and it's being recognized. It's being noticed. Um, you're feeling it, so other people are seeing it and feeling it, and it's going to attract a lot of attention whether it be relationship attention or whether it be uh, opportunities job wise or financial wise, what have you. Um, so be careful in what you're picking because you don't need to take any first offers anymore. You, there may have been a time when you did, uh, but you don't now. So let's get some um, clarification on this one here with the page of Pentacles and the Knight of swords. So wisdom, again, like I said, wisdom is knowledge. Okay. So power, knowledge is power. Wisdom is knowledge. Knowledge is power. Okay. So, here we go. Again, take your time. Know everything there is to know about these people. If it's a person, regardless, um, if it's a person who's offering a job opportunity, know the person. If it's a person offering a relationship, find out everything you can about the people before you make any decisions, okay? If it's an opportunity, make sure you know everything there is about the opportunity before you make any decisions. You need to buy time buy time this is your life this is your commitment this is your choosing you don't just jump at it it's not like you know buying something for a dollar 25 at the grocery store that if it really sucks after you take two bites of it you throw it in the garbage this is important right so you know tell them you need to think about it and if they can't deal with that then they weren't the right person anyway because look you have opportunities now You've proven yourself. You've worked hard to get where you are. And if they want you, they will give you adequate time to make the appropriate decision, right? And you just need to arm yourself with all the information you possibly can to make the best decision before you ever even commit to anything. That's going to help you overcome any sort of snafus with people or opportunities that may not be as good as other opportunities. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see what we've got here for your final piece of advice to go with your 10 of cups, which I truly believe if you arm yourself with the knowledge, you take your time and you use all of your information, your boss level energy, your power here, and you, you know, put thought, effort, and time into any decisions, you will make ones that will lead you to this, this fruition here, this delicious 10 of cups happiness. Um, but let's see what kind of advice card we have here. All right. So it says, things are not what they seem. You are only trapped by your illusion. Um, what freedoms do you seek? So again, I think this is again, where something where you might be a person who feels like you don't like to say no. 
you feel like you have to say yes. You feel like you are, and maybe because it came from a time when you did, you had to jump at any opportunity that was available. You know, if you got a job offer, you immediately took it because you may not get another one. You're no longer that person. You're not there anymore. Now you're emperor vibes. You are power vibes. You are big financial uh, movement changes here, material changes. You are on a totally different level, okay? Now you can have the luxury to make some some better choices, better decisions, okay? So you're trapped by the illusion that you're still the same person that you used to be that had to take whatever you were given. If you were breadcrumbed, you had to take it, okay? But you're not anymore, okay? So you can, you can dictate terms more so. You can negotiate terms more so. You are on much better footing to do that, okay? So at this point, you can create your own happiness here. You can create this perfect world that you want, but you can do it by, um, again, not trapping yourself into anything, not jumping into anything, not agreeing to anything, but instead arming yourself with tons of knowledge, determine what you're worth, deciding what you will take and what you wouldn't take, uh, finding out everything there is to know about any opportunities coming in before you make any decisions, and then only making the decisions that are the best for you, negotiated the best for you, and are going to work out the best for you. And I don't care if that is a business opportunity or a relationship, because again, you can negotiate relationships just the same. You don't settle. That's what it is. You don't, um, it's not like a negotiation, like in a business setting perhaps, but it is a, a negotiation in that if there's things that are just stuff you can't handle, you know, or things that you're not willing to tolerate in a relationship, you know, somebody who doesn't ever want kids, somebody who doesn't ever want to get married, you don't have to accept that person just because you don't want to be alone. You can wait and be with somebody else. You don't have to, they will, trust me, there will be plenty others that will want to be with you. Again, you get to determine with knowing everything about this, these people and what it is they want, don't want out of life, then you get to make the decision what you will tolerate and what you won't before you get trapped into a relationship you'll hate. Same with a job, regardless. But the big deal here is you have to realize that you now have more power, more authority, more intelligence, more uh, higher level than you've ever had before. Um, and and make them make other people respect that. Okay. So um, again, and that's not saying that you need to be cocky or, you know, crass or anything of that nature or disrespectful and no, 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 no way should you be that way. But um, it is to say that you don't need to take less or jump at the first opportunity that comes to you anymore. Like maybe you one time felt like you did when you were brand new or first starting out. So anyway, I hope this did resonate with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back later. Bye.